Welcome to the Car Beast One video. This is an in-depth tour of a 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado GXL. In this video, I'll give you a full walk around the car. I'll show the exterior, the interior, a couple interesting features of the car, and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you got standard halogen headlights, as you can see. You can also see towards the front end of the bumper there, you can see the grille is finished in a nice chrome finish, as you can see. If you go for the GX version, this grille hood is actually blacked out, and so is the front bumper and the door handles as well. So it actually looks a little bit different. As you can see, you can see you got a little bit of nice chrome here, and you got this sort of, a little bit slightly faded, this sort of grey sort of style finish there as well. You can also see on the GXL version, you get some nice fog lamps as well, which you don't get on the GX. It's also quite nice. Switch to a wide angle lens so you can have a wider look of the car. You can see you got a bonnet protector as well which was fitted from factory over here which is actually pretty good so it actually prevents from getting stone chips on top of the car because you know when you chip the paint it always touch it up which is kind of a little bit irritating. So the fuel consumption of this car is 13.8 litres per 100 k's. Um, the one that you see is a 5 speed manual and the power wise you'll be looking at about 179 kilowatts of power. Now, that's not really that accurate because this does drink more petrol, but that's the combined fuel consumption that they're saying. You can see you got some nice chrome door handles here as well. In terms of the range and stuff like that, I'll leave that in the description, in the motion graphics. So you can see you got standard wipers. I think I just mentioned you got the chrome side view mirrors. Not door handles, what I'm saying. Um, you can see your wheels here. It's quite nice, alloy wheels. So you got, I think this is pretty much new tyres, so you can see the tyres are um, Dunlop AT20 Grand Trek tyres. You can see here, in terms of the tyre size, they are a 17 inch wheel as well. You can see it's actually quite a nice looking wheel, and you can see there's a lot of tread on it as well. You can see there's plenty of tread. Even though the suspension, all that looks pretty new, despite its mileage. So you got some, got some mud flaps, and you can see you got a side step over here, which has a little bit textured as well, which is great, so you don't slip and fall and stuff like that. Whoops! So it's slipping, fall and stuff like that. And I'll just, oops, this car's in the way. I'll show you the side profile of the car. I think I'll go the other way. A little bit, be, a little bit more easy to show you the side view. So I'm a little bit scared of bees. Anyway, I'll show you the sign profile of the Kizer Prado. So this one here is a V6. This is the rear end of the Land Cruiser Prado. So some versions of the Prado you may have noticed that they don't have the spare wheel and it's actually tucked in underneath and this one doesn't have the cover normally there's a cover that covers the spare tires well in the spare tires the same but it's a different brand as you can see here um it's got said pirelli's scorpios and you can see they are 17 inch tires as well so you got your rear lights here yeah and you can see it's finished in a sort of nice little dark tinted sort of style finish as well which is a little bit nice as well and you can see you got some additional lights towards the bottom and you can see you got some parking sensors as well which is quite nice for its age. So a lot of cars didn't really have parking sensors, but this one did, so it's good. So because it's a big vehicle, you do need the space. Um, you do need to know dimensions and everything when you're parking. So there's a fuel tank there. So it's a 180 liter fuel tank. In case you're wondering, it's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, it's quite large. I don't think this is, this is not an LPG model because sometimes you do have an additional tank they put there as well. So you can see the tow bar there. It's all the turbo information is a little bit faded and you can see you've got all the cables over here as well which is all factory fitted from Toyota so if you want to um, attach a trailer and stuff like that Cruiser like Prado so I press oh, how do I do it? oh what am I doing of course the door handles this actually opens sideways oh there's the cover the cover is inside so here is don't want to open it too wide because oh okay so let's stop right there so here you go this is the 
Inside you can see you got a little map, little pocket here. Got some, I think if I open this you can see. So here has your little toolkit. You can see there. And you got the cover inside there. And you can see this one being the GXL, you get the extra seats, the rear seats, so you can actually undo them, which I would do it, but you got this in the way you can see part of here. Nothing here because you have the spare tire. And those little latches where the seats lock in place. So yeah, additional seats here. If you go for the VX1, you don't get the rear seats. I think you got, it's only a five-seater. So you can see, looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can open this one. Just enough space, there you go. Pull this lever down. This will fall down, which doesn't seem to be happening really. But this will fall down, and you can see it's a little too flat, but the seats. Not, no, 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 I'm not going to do that because it's going to be too hard to connect, too hard to put them both down at the same time. But you can see these fold down nice and flat. You can get bigger, bigger boot space, and also access to get to the rear seats as well. So I'll just show you from there. And the seats you can see are pretty nice as well. Nice and plush. Got some additional sort of covers here, which this one is your tool kit there. Sorry, the jack, if you want to put the car on the jack, if you want to change your tire and stuff like that. Pretty solid, so. You can see this one, GXL. You go. So here's the interior of the Land Cruiser Prado. Now being the GXL, it's a little bit different. So that if you go for the Grande, the first thing you'll notice is you get sunroof on the Grande version. Also the Grande gets your leather seats, which this one doesn't have. You also get a couple more features, which I'll just jump inside here so I can show you. Is if you went for the Grande also, you'll get Com control, which this one doesn't have. You can see it's got standard air conditioning vents. Um, you also get navigation, which is not here also. And you get hill descent control. And you also get, um, I think, adjustable suspension. So you can actually raise and lower the cars, which is good in um, off-road terrains. So, pretty cool stuff. So this is the interior of the um, Land Cruiser Prado. So it comes in two different colors. You can get like a tanned interior or the black one, which is what you got here, as you can see. So towards the front you've got standard gauges, cloth standard gauges here. So you've got your fuel gauge towards the left, speedometer, rev counter and your um, temperature gauge. Um, in terms of kilometers this car's done quite a bit, let's face it. It's done 389,500 kilometers, so it's quite a lot. So it's going for about 10,000, 10,000 So you can see the dashboard's actually made of this soft touch rubber. Rubberized material, see here. Nicely pad here, you got a little bit of storage there too. Also, pretty nice. You see the steering wheel controls here. You can see towards the left, you've got your wipe controls, and towards the right, you've got your headlight indicator. So, right, and you can see they feel pretty nice. Um, GXL, you can see you got a nice leather wrapped steering wheel with some nice stitching here. Also, pretty good. Very nicely wrapped around. You can see that's your sensors. You can see that's this tells you how close you are. I think it was when you're um. Uh, reversing, I think. I'm wrong about that. See, so it's got some additional controls here. A couple of blank buttons you can see here. Um, this is just, I think, to adjust the intensity of the lighting for the instrumentation cluster. And these are some additional blank buttons, which I don't know. You've got cruise control also there as well. You can see even the head unit is pretty well. I don't have the key with me this time, unfortunately. Even the buns feel very, very nicely screwed together. Walk, scan, FMAM, seek, and SRS, circle, circle sound. And this one comes with a six disc CD player, even though we don't use discs in this day and age. Um, and I don't think this one has a aux cable, unfortunately. And you can see you've got a uh, suit, I think it's missing the cigarette lighter. Oh no, it's right here. So you can see you've got a cigarette lighter over there. Um, some more additional blank buttons. Um, and I believe this will be your ashtray. And um, yeah, 
can see over there. You can see this is a five speed manual, or you can go for the four speed automatic. You can see you got your other modes here, other, other modes when you're driving off your terrain, off different type of terrains. Well, storage to keep, I think, maybe like an oldest phone from the time frame, I guess you could say. Um, you can see you got a handbrake here, you got some storage here, which is nice. Bit two drinks there. Um, you can see the center console here. You can see here another thing I forgot is with the Grande is this actually is a ref no uh, a cooler so you can actually put drinks in here and cool down your drinks but you don't get that on the um, GXL so this is just a standard one and you can actually fit quite a fair bit like you can fit you can see this drink fits here very nicely and you can fit a lot of storage here you don't have any real storage on the sides but I guess it's a different era because people didn't really care about side storage but I mean this against different you can see this is fits here and you got a lot of storage in here i can see the quality is pretty pretty decent you can see clutch seats here and the seats are really comfortable you can see you got this funny sort of pattern at the end of the seat there you can see it up front but yeah very nice soft seats and it's actually aged well and that's the thing about cloth seats are prefer than leather seats because you have to condition them and stuff like that so you can see they've actually still quite quite clean and they feel really comfortable and everything so I guess that's the perfect part about cloth seats and you can see that same design is all over the door cards as well here and here even the door handles here even all the switches feel pretty well screwed together it's quite nice you can see you got a sunglass holder a small vanity mirror and you got a, another one here and this one's a little bit loose because it doesn't close but Overall, you can see the visibility is pretty good from the side. Even the rear is really good, um, which is, yeah, great. So I guess it's really good. So you can see, it's quite nice. It's actually not too high as well, so it makes it easy for me to get in and out, especially the side step here. You can see even all the, it's a little bit hard plastics here and here, but again, this is the early 2000s. Did forget you can, your controls here, your air conditioning, you can see. There, AC recycling, pretty to Mister. They feel pretty solid and everything, so it's quite nice. Show the rear seats, real quick. So towards the side here, you can see you've got PSP and our ashtray, Oshmag down here, which is cool. Uh, a little bit some semi soft touch material here, or hard plastics here. Bit of storage here, and you can see you got the same sort of material at the front there. The same seats at the front as well. You can see with that nice, really cool sort of squares and rectangles sort of pattern. If I pull this down, you can see you got this seems to be stuck, but um, oh, actually, it's coming out. It's probably just wear and tear, but there you go. Got two cup holders there, so fit your coffee cups and stuff. Junior Prado floor mats as well. So, see, you got some cops holders there. We'll see if we can fit this drink in here. Doesn't look like you can fit there, but that's not too bad. It's not that bad, so I assume worse. So, these are more for coffee cups and stuff like that. But if it's there, it's a little bit weird out, but yeah. So, you can see the rear visibility is pretty good. Got the rear seats up there, too. Also, quite nice. Yeah. There's a lot of room in here, too. Really good headroom. It's expected, and four wheel drive so it is expected that you will have a bit of a transmission tunnel but you don't really have that here so it's good so you can keep your feet here and you can just see the dashboard from the rear seat you can see here You don't have any air conditioning vents here, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not too sure on the Grande version you do, but um, it would be nice. But you do have a little bit of some storage here. Got some pockets here and here. Also pretty nice. And yeah, you do sit a little bit elevated, but um, yeah, pretty, pretty nice in here. So. Yeah, the legroom is actually pretty good as well. You can see. 
here. Quite comfortable in here. Even here it's all textured here, which is good so you can get a grip when you want to get into the rear seats and stuff like that. And then this will tumble forward, like so. And then you can just walk your way into the rear, but I would do that, but the problem is I can't do that because... Yeah, I forgot how to... Anyway, you get the idea. But there's a thing that you undo here so you can... Anyway, you get the idea. That is supposed to come down and then um, you can you know, put the seat back, but I forgot how you do it. I did it last time, but I don't remember how I did it this time. Mm. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so actually we'll leave it like that actually, so it makes it a bit easier. So you can see your seats and stuff like that. I guess it's good also because you can leave this forward. You'll say you want to put like a plant or something like that. Vertically you can do that, so I guess that's good. They can do things like that. I just realized um, the way to actually put it down is you have to push this down and then you can put the seat down. That's embarrassing. Now this will come down and it'll click like that and then this come up nicely. There we go. So I don't know if you saw it, there's a little button there. You have to hold it down and then it'll come down. So that's kind of, I remember doing that last time I don't remember, but yeah. Also, no electric seats or manual seats. Grande version comes with the um, electric seats. So, look at your 4 liter V6. This might get a little bit messy. So. Oh, good. So, this has actually got little struts here, you can see. So, here's your V6 engine 179 kilowatts of power, in case you're wondering. Um, I'll give you the horsepower numbers um, in the motion graphics. You can see it's just mainly a cover here, but you can see it's actually a lot of space to work on. You can see you've got a new battery here, which is nice. Um, all your other store stuff here. 180 litre fuel tank, I think I already mentioned that. Cow string fluid, coolant, that. And you can see the air box is actually attached to the side there. So you'd undo those clips, you can slide in a new filter. What you did. So I'm very scared of these. Oil filter over here. Actually, makes it a little bit easier to change as well. Um, and you do have a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Got a little bit of a case over here, so it doesn't spill everywhere. So I guess that's very thoughtful. So these are built in Japan. In case you're wondering, if, you, if I didn't mention that. Yeah. So that's all the walk around of the 2005 Toyota Prado, five-speed manual. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this car is for sale at um, Car City, um, coast, coast to Coast Car Sales. I'll leave the details in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and sorry for the little mistakes in the video. It's a little bit of a last minute video and um, hope you enjoyed it and um, thanks for watching. Take care.